Federal recommendations for VA hospitals could leave veterans in our area scrambling to try to find care. Hospitals in both Manhattan and Brooklyn are on the chopping block, and that has some local veterans expressing their outrage. CBS News' Andrea Klein-Thomas reports. Every week, Rudolfo Rosa passes many health care facilities during his trip from the Bronx, specifically to be treated at the Veterans Hospital in Manhattan. And the doctors here, I, to me, they're sympathetic to a lot of the veterans. Now the Army veteran joins others in their outrage as the federal government recommends closing both the Manhattan and Brooklyn facilities. We fight for this country, and this country wants to turn around and call the VA and won't take care of veterans. Details of the plan are outlined in this federal report. Explaining the hospitals are old, will cost hundreds of millions to upgrade while treating fewer patients. Instead, favoring partnering with academic institutions like NYU or Mount Sinai to provide care. This is nothing but another attempt at privatization. Yeah, that's it. That's the key. Many of our employees are veterans. Closing this facility puts veterans out of work. Now veterans are rallying the troops for a new mission to block hospital closures, and they're getting support from Congresswoman Carolyn Maloney. They have a good hospital. Where are they going to go? You and I know they're not going to build another one. The report highlighted the Manhattan VA sits on a desirable piece of land that could be valuable to a development partner. But in a statement, the interim medical director stressed the closures are just recommendations and any potential changes is dependent on commission, presidential, and congressional decisions. To the patients. This is also a place of refuge for, for veterans. You know, a lot of people are, are, are alone. The care goes beyond their physical ailments. Veterans say it's a community where they're understood. In Kipps Bay, Andrea Klein Thomas, CBS 2 News. The U.S. Department of Veteran Affairs says demand for services is already declining at the Manhattan and Brooklyn VA hospitals and projects it to drop more than 20% over the next decade.